Hello Internet! I am RD Lazy and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to extract 3D models from Nintendo Wii and GameCube games. I'm gonna also show how to add textures to these models and how to refine them, smoothing their surfaces in 3ds Max. So let's start! Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to download Dolphin. Dolphin is a Nintendo Wii and GameCube emulator. We're gonna use this emulator to extract all the game files. In addition to the Dolphin emulator, we also need to have a copy of a Nintendo Wii or GameCube game, which has the models that we want to extract. In my case, I'm showing here as an example a copy of a game that I have, which is the Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. If you don't have any Nintendo Wii or GameCube game, you still can download that from any torrent or piracy website. So now that we have downloaded and installed our Dolphin emulator, and now that I have the emulator opened and with my Nintendo Wii game loaded as an example, we're gonna right click on the game. After that, we click in properties. We're gonna go to the file system tab. We're gonna select the partition of the game. And then we just have to right click and click on extract all the files. Now that we have extracted all the game files, we have to visualize all these files and locate the 3D model that we want to extract. So when we find this model, we can convert this model to another format that is supported by any 3D modeling program. And we're gonna do this by using the BRRES viewer. So let's download this tool and install it and let's use it to locate and convert our 3D model. So typically all the models and animations from Nintendo Wii and GameCube games are saved in ARC format, ARC format. So we're gonna be focusing on these files with this format in order to find our 3D model. Just a reminder that these ARC files were the files extracted by the Dolphin emulator. So I'm going to the folder where the game files were extracted in the previous step in order to locate the 3D model that I want to convert and export. And all the converted and exported files will be generated in the same folder where the original ARC file was located. Now that I finally found the model that I was looking for, the model of Claire Redfield from Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, I'm gonna export this 3D model using the default settings of this program. This program is only able to export 3D models in PSK format. This format is not yet supported by Blender, Maya, 3ds Max or any other big 3D modeling software. So before importing these models to 3ds Max, we have to do one additional conversion. So we're gonna convert these PSK models to OBJ format. Models in OBJ format are supported by most of these big 3D modeling software. And the program that is able to convert files from PSK to OBJ format is Noasis. So let's download and install Noasis to perform this conversion. Now that we have installed and we are running Noasis, we just have to locate the PSK file that we have just exported in the previous step. Now that we have located our 3D model that was exported during the previous step in PSK format, we're gonna convert this model to OBJ format by going in File and Export. 
The only different option that I'm gonna select here is flip UVs so the texture maps can be loaded correctly in 3ds Max. So now that we have exported and converted our 3D model to OBJ format, now we can open this 3D model in 3ds Max or any other modeling and animation software. So the most critical options that you have to mark here during the import process is texture coordinates and smoothing groups. So the texture coordinates will be loaded together with the file and import normals from file. So the orientation of faces and vertices can be loaded as they were in the original file. So now that we have imported our model into DS Max, we can go ahead and add a texture to this model. The texture of this model was already exported automatically together with the PSK file in the exporting that we did in the second step of this tutorial. So the texture in TGA format should be in the same place where the PSK file was exported. And in order to assign the texture to our model, we just have to click in Material Editor and then we have to create a new standard material to which we're gonna assign our texture map. So now we click in Assign Material to Selection to apply the texture to our 3D model. And if you want to preview this texture in the viewport without needing to render the 3D model, then you have to click in this button. So now we have assigned the texture to our 3D model, but the 3D model looks a little weird. As you can see here, there are many sharp edges in the model. It feels like it has a low number of faces, and the edges among the faces are not so round. And the model is not that smooth to create a good animation scene. So now we're gonna solve this problem by performing a smoothing in the surface of this model. We're gonna make the edges more round, and the model will look much better than this. So for smoothing the surface of our 3D model, we have to click in the editable poly modifier and then we click here in vertices so we can select all the vertices in the model. And then we select all the vertices of the model by pressing Ctrl A at the same time. Now that we have selected all the vertices, we can click in the settings of the weld button. This weld function will attach the faces of the model in a much more smooth way. The surface of the 3D model will be more even and the edges between these faces will be more round. And this function is very effective. We don't need a very high intensity value here. I can set up, for example, 001 of smoothing intensity and it will do a great job already with this minimal amount. Depending on what game you have extracted the models from, the models may come split into parts or they may be exported in just one piece. In the case of this character, from this example, the model is divided in a few parts. So I will do the same process of assigning textures and smoothing the models of all the parts of this character. Some textures may look a little weird if we don't define a dark color as background color for them. Like the textures of the hair, for example. If I don't set black or brown as background color, it's gonna look weird like this. So I'm gonna set black as the background color of this texture and it's gonna look much better.
And this is the 3D model of Clara Redfield extracted from a Nintendo Wii game. After assigning textures and smoothing the surface of the model, it looks really good. And this model can be used to make any animation. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And don't forget to subscribe to receive new tutorials. I'll see you next time.